occurred to me I'd be hard to go up the mountain. 6.46 a.m. It is Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. And we got up at the tender hour of 5.50 in order to go skiing at Bolton. We're going skinning up Bolton. It is puking snow, as the kids say. I would say nuking. The entire move hinges around a variety of things. Untapped is a huge portion of that. So we've moved to Richmond, Vermont, home of Untapped. As a company I co-founded, it's something that I wanted to be closer to. It's something that I wanted to, be, to continue to build with my co-founders who are based back here in Vermont. So that's probably reason number one, if we were gonna put a order of hierarchy on it. Yeah. Being close to family is super important to me. Um, I have a relatively small family. I've got one brother who's in medical school um, and he's in New York City and my folks are in New Hampshire in the house that I grew up in. So being a mere two and a half hours away by car is a far cry from being a six hour flight from home. Um, behind schedule. Let's go do laps, bro. There's some people who say ski boots are meant to be uncomfortable in a similar manner that cycling shoes are supposed to be uncomfortable. And I think that's a whole load of bunk. Wow. Up. Down already. All right, y'all. Strava. And Record this. a backcountry ski. Commence. Biking, you get drafts only at down to about eight miles an hour. I'm a firm believer it exists at fewer than one MPHs. That's hot, Ginger Maple Leaf. All right, I'll let this amateur show you how to transition. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh, Top of Bolton Valley, dumping snow. Time to go down the mountain. Excellent day. 9.52 a.m. Down the mountain where most of the town is on timeout anyway because of the snow. Magnificent morning. Good hustle, first place. Ginger chai spiced scone or pumpkin muffin and an Americano. I'm excited about mixing it up in 2019. So we got the Coast Ride, which is not mixing it up. Done that each of the last three years. In early February, I'm doing the Great White Arctic Adventure, the descent from James Bay. Myself and three crazy Canadians are going up to James Bay, which is basically northern Canada, early February, and riding 600 kilometers on fat bikes, self-supported. So that is going to be bananas. Um, then you hop into March, and I'm doing a land run 100 for the first time. That's gonna be a really cool event out in Oklahoma. April, I'm mixing it up and going to the Epic 150, although it's something of a misnomer. There is a 150 mile ride, but the hard hitting race is the 85 mile ride, so the Epic 150, 85. <laughs> uh, May, TBD, and then the first day after May is June 1st, which is DK, Dirty Kansas. That is the target 2019. Training starts right now. It starts with waking up early, to go skiing, and then fueling properly with baked goods. Barns. I didn't realize that I had a barn fetish until I moved to Vermont in 
and started to see them regularly. I don't know why I love barns. I didn't grow up with barns. I didn't grow up on a farm. Where I grew up in New Hampshire, we did not have a lot of farms. I think barns are just sweet. They're a sign of peaceful times. They're, there's a bucolic pace to things. Um, I just, I don't know, I think barns are awesome. I, it wasn't until, good connection, Ian Boswell, he bought a house uh, up in Peachum, Vermont, eh, maybe a year, handful of months before us. Um, and I went up to visit him, visit his fiance, Gretchen, and I just fell in love with their barn. And I was like, Laura, I think we need a barn. All right, we're gonna do a quick tour of the King family bicycles. We'll begin here in the uh, walkway. We have Laura's bike that's going to California for the coast ride. Spare frame. Cannondale Slate, that won my inaugural Dirty Kanza. Fat Cad 2. Fat Cad 1. We have the Lefty Olaf. This thing is a beast. Laura's mountain bike, scalpel, wonderful machine. Missing a saddle because she's taken it off to put it on her brand new road bike. Camdale scalpel, raced this bike at Leadville in 2016. Wonderful machine. Cannondale FSI. This bike won Grindura. This bike is a weapon. It is ridiculously fast. It is a whole lot of fun and it weighs next to nothing. Cannondale Fat Cad 2, Laura's fat bike. Cannondale Super X, Laura's cross bike, Laura's gravel, gravel bike, Laura's winter bike, Laura's wonderful bike. My Cannondale Synapse, which I'm calling my winter road bike for road days not like today. When the roads are dry and I wanna go outside, chuck on the bar mitts, which make a world of difference, keep those hands warm. Awesome bike. Cannondale Scalpel SE. SE stands for super most excellent. The M is silent. Cannondale Evo disc. This is a speed machine. Laura's bike of the same ilk. Cannondale Evo disc. So once upon a time in a previous lifetime, I would wake up and do 20 minutes of core every day when I was racing a bike professionally. These days I incorporate core when I'm doing a gym workout. I'm in the gym here uh, about once a week, sometimes more, rarely less. Um, and I'll, I'll cycle through the traditional full body workout, primarily lower body, but you know, I'm doing lunges, I'm doing squats, I'm doing, uh, using this hand TRX here, do uh, uh, hamstring leg extensions, contractions, and then between virtually everything, I'm doing a whole lot of core as well. So they say as you, as you age, you're supposed to keep your core strong. Good idea. So we just wrapped up late morning, midday lunch at home sweet home, the home office. And now we are headed over to Untapped World Headquarters and we're gonna have a quick meeting with the founders and a group photo shoot for a publication that needs a picture of all the founders. And I'll show you guys around Untapped HQ. <laughs> Welcome to beautiful Untapped World Headquarters here at the base of Cochrane Ski Area. Um, really cool story. The Cochrane family, they, they, they started by cutting a lift line, cutting a trail, installing a lift line. Started a family ski dynasty, which has included Olympic gold, world championship medals, world cup titles, and now home of Untapped and Slopeside Syrup. If you go there, you'll... This is the inner workings of Untapped. We do shipping out of here. This is a small portion, a very, very small portion of inventory. Inventory is over at uh, a nearby warehouse location. We're actually segueing um, between the work, the events, the travel, the racing. Um, I, I maintain balance, but I feel like I'm on this really fast treadmill and I'm going, going, going. But honestly, that's the only way I want it. I love being busy. I love feeling like I need something to do. I need to have a set of accomplishments over the course of the day. And sure, I wake up the next day and I have that lengthy list again, but 
that's awesome. That, that keeps me on my toes. It is 3.30. We're following Andrew Gardner. We're going to go quickly to my house, get changed, and then we're going to rally and go to Sleepy Hollow, which is a place that I know you guys are going to love. Incredible community there. Uh, all built around Nordic skiing, a little bit of mountain biking, uh, but winter it's all Nordic skiing. That has been canceled. Um, close. Uh, back. It's a funny feeling knowing that you're a noob. You're the bike dude. Yeah, so I raced a bike and I know how to do that proficiently, but yeah, so it's you know how to not fall over. <laughs> I pretend. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, let's just, yeah. Let's yeah. just hope that this, but guys, how do you know Do you like let go of your ski? <laughs> right foot, left foot, go home shower. It's pretty straightforward, yeah. Let go of your Skeleton stack, and I need to get concise and quiet. And so, if you look at it again. Concise and quiet. Ski down and back and play with that to start. Yeah. I, we are here at Hatchet, the local watering hole in Richmond, Vermont. We have just wrapped up. Awesome day. Uh, we're on the tail end of the Nordic ski around Sleepy Hollow, just about five miles due south of here. Recovery beverage in hand. We got a Hill Farmstead difference in repetition. Cheers, babe. June 1 is Dirty Kanza. There are a whole handful of months between now and then. There's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of training to be done. It is amazing having this place, Vermont, in our backyard to accomplish everything that's going to need to be accomplished between now and Dirty Kansas. 206 miles away.